treated fairly. For a long time, these cosmetics were tested on animals. Products. The tests that are done on animals don't translate very well to human beings. Mice are not humans. Mm -hmm. Even chimpanzees, which are very close to us, have differences that are very important. There's more products nowadays, and personal care products anyway, that are not tested on animals simply because people have asked for that. Cosmetics companies didn't test their products on animals for a long time. They want to sell their cosmetics in China. And China passed a law that said that you have to test your products on animals. A few years ago, the European Union passed this fantastic law that said that if you want to sell cosmetics in any of the European Union countries, you couldn't have tested that product on animals. Human tissues, human cells, replicating human organs and uh, replicating human anatomy. Cell studies and computer-based tests organoids. We are going in a direction where the whole idea of them serving as a replacement is becoming more possible. I'm very optimistic that we're moving in the right direction. Historically, researchers thought that using animals would be helpful because they are whole organisms. They've got circulatory systems, nervous systems, everything that we have. So they thought uh, it, it's okay to do testing on them because maybe the results we get from the animals would be translatable to people. And if you have any kind of differences in your genes, this can cause people to have different reactions for them to metabolize differently. And that's because of those small differences. So a lot of tests that show a lot of promise in animals fail in humans. legislation from around the country and submit testimony when there's bills that we're interested in. We also promote particular bills that we think are important. We go to legislators and ask them if they would be interested in introducing them. I also submit comments on federal regulations that have been proposed, contact legislators, go to a, a meeting of a, a state assembly to testify, put together reports, there's a lot of requests for information and comments from the government. On average, it takes at least three times of introducing a bill, finding a sponsor and having it introduced, whether it's a state assembly or it's U.S. Congress. U.S. Congress can take even longer before it's seriously considered. It's a lot of time. Most sessions are two years, so that's six years from the time you first think of something until there's a, a chance that it actually passes. It starts with what you buy. So if you buy cosmetics, you should be buying cosmetics that aren't tested on animals. If you buy household cleaners, you should be buying household cleaners that aren't tested on animals. You should also look for out opportunities to convince local universities or your legislators to do something about these issues.